My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Renowned Explorers, the Empress Challenge, specifically weekly challenge number 100. A hundred challenges, a million resources. This is going to be fun. Yes, I'm rusty, but look, it's a milestone. Gondor calls for aid and Ryan shall answer the call. Let's begin with the story and then I'll tell you the goals that we are going to be working towards. Pinkerton clapped his hands loudly to get attention from all the explorers gathered in the hall. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we have gathered to celebrate our society's continued success, he proclaimed proudly. Some of the more enthusiastic explorers cheered. Already back in my time, I'm changing the voice wildly. The renowned Explorers International Society was successful, yet merely starting out. Recently, we have not only expanded into Asia, but we have brought in four great new explorers with Asian roots to join. Phelan, Hojo, and Yu straightened their backs proudly at being called out. Min Zhong already had immaculate posture, but couldn't keep a big smile off of her face. I want to thank everyone for ruthlessly, diplomatically, and cunningly gathering treasures, fame, funds, and research for our society. We have never had more porcelain to decorate our halls with either, despite the fact that some of us had already been victim to out-of-control machines, wayward running explorers, and that dog I most certainly didn't give you permission to bring back. Pinkerton glared at the ones to blame. Some explorers started looking very innocent. Earl quickly put away the remote control for his boomsicle that he'd been fiddling with, resolving himself not to screw up anything during this celebration. He glanced at his partner in crime, Yu, who was happily jumping up and down, flapping his mechanical wings. So far, so safe. Invention-wise. In order to celebrate our continued success, we will provide supplies to literally everyone that wants to go on an expedition. Let these expeditions be all about providing for our society. We are all renowned explorers. Let us f therefore let us forget about renown during these expeditions. Go out and gather gold. Gather status, gather research, so that our society may progress further. Phelan could only stare at shock. Stare in shock at Pinkerton. No renown? Anna gave her an enormous grin and twirled its taser in her head. Because Phelan's good at getting renown and Anna's really good at getting... So anyway, uh, Harry and Philippe high-fived. Victor thoughtfully stroked his pointy beard and turned to Bia and Agatha to discuss strategy. Oh. They're all mechanically- Oh, I love it. Uh, Kwame, Hildegard, Maria, Padrino, and Amelia were all excitedly gesturing and talking already. Yvonne and Charles were thinking of who they'd let tag along with them. Delors already tackled uh, Ivan excitedly, and Jan, Pete, and Hatice looked on, wondering if they should rescue Ivan. Kiwi poked Molly, and together they ran towards the storage for the tastiest supplies. Pinkerton looked on nostalgically, remembering his rowdy days as an explorer. He subtly swept a tear away and proudly looked on at his merry band of explorers. No matter what shenanigans they would come up with, he knew they would always make him and the society proud. The rules are literally just gather an absolute buttload of resources. The only resource so far that has not yet reached platinum tier. So there's different tiers of results that the community as a whole, at the very least in this challenge, achieves. And the platinum tier only requires more science. So I am going to be doing a science-based build. Any crew composition is allowed. And it's just adventure mode on classic difficulty. Beautiful. However, if you do play as a one of the captains that is least played, you can bring up the amount of rotations, uh, which is to say if every captain has played four times, then the captain rotation number is four, at which point everyone gets a load of bonuses to the general resource pool. That's not really going to matter in kind of like a micro level in this run, but it does mean that I'm going to be picking between Philippe, Harry, Padrino, Hatice, or Maria. I think Philippe is the only one of those that I really want to take in a scientific build. And let's have a think about 
the chairman's suggestions. Getting the most resources is more important for this challenge. Renown can take a back seat. Excellent. Because of this, finishing research trees isn't that important, but the renown bonus at the end isn't useful. Mix it up and look for research papers that give you more tokens to improve their value. Uh, one to three gold on collect or three collect for each level of Beguila are good examples of bonuses you should go for. I typically eschew renown in, in preference for golds or in, in preference for general resources, except for on the final mission, which means that now I will just be doing that on all of the final missions. And for specialists, trying to make use of the bonuses they encounter. If you recruit Mr. Jenkins, trying to make sure that you get a character to level for diplomat, blah, 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 blah. Cool. All of this seems pretty straightforward. Now, one thing I do want to note. Unfortunately, I am recording this a little late. I will still be in time to submit my result and actually contribute towards the challenge itself but the time this uh, but by rather the time this video goes live the challenge will be ended so i apologize if anyone looks at this and then goes oh i should do the challenge as well because i haven't really left you much time i didn't really have too much time to record myself either but you know we had to do it let's go to a new game all right so captain's probably going to be full leap right Plus four study for each resolve you have at the end of an expedition. So I guess I want to try and go with stack resolve. There's like three or four treasures in the entire game I can think of that give you resolve. Although, Philippe is really, really good at the... God, I'm going to forget the name of all of the expeditions. The Caribbean expedition... Because he can go aggressive, and he has engineer skills, and he has rogue skills. So that's really, really helpful for that area. If I can pair him with a naturalist, survivalist, those kinds of things, then I might be able to pick up two resolve from the Waters of Life. Although the Waters of Life is a relatively rare spawn in that area. So we'll see, we'll see. Let's start thinking about our build in general as to the friends we'll bring. So science build, science build, science build. I've already got an engineer and a rogue, so I've got kind of like one avenue closed off. Do I want to go aggressive or do I want to go friendly? How do I get more science? Let's think about it like that. Does aggression or friendliness gather more science? I think friendliness because of the Highlands being our fourth expedition. Alternatively, if we had strong archaeology and survivalist, we could go for gold and research on the emerged island. That's also really good. We'll definitely need a high-level survivalist and a high-level engineer because we're going to be going to the Lost Island as our final area because you can pick up ridiculous amounts of science tokens on that island. So this means now my next pick is I want an aggressive friendly if i can manage it survivalist so let's think who do we have as survivalists we've got harry walker is not a survivalist he's just a scout does he even have off no of course it's beguila so we've got kiwi who actually can be aggressive reason being because kiwi has enraged to low rama as well as attack i would personally call her devious aggressive uh, devious aggressive rather than devious friendly she's definitely got the ability to pick up a ridiculous amount of survivalist and she can even offhand for the archaeology mm. that said she does really really flourish in a devious build and i do not want to do too much devious stuff in this Think about our other ones. We've got Padrino. Padrino is always ridiculous and incredible and amazing. Always. I mean, he's kind of aggressive friendly, if you think about it. Considering the devious doesn't really work on him. Uh, I guess disarming smile. But disarming smile, you don't really use as aggression. You use it just to shut someone down. Hmm. Okay, I think currently Padrino is my front runner. Hojo's second is, yeah, Athlete, so that's probably not a great idea for me. Where else could I pick up Survivalist? Because I'm probably not going to pick up a second Scientist. I'm definitely going to want a Speaker. The only Speakers with Offhand Survivalist are... None of them? I think it's none of them. I'm going to double... Oh, it might be Charles. Yeah, it's Charles. Beguila Archaeologist, Diplomat Naturalist... 
Diplomat and Quick Thinker and then Beguiler. Yeah, Rogue. I should have known that. I can't really take Charles, right? That never happens. Not, not for me. So I definitely won't be taking Yvonne Lefebvre. Where am I going to get my damage from? If I take Kwame and Philippe, where am I getting my damage from, right? Because Kwame is really, really good at healing and can only really do a ridiculous amount of damage if I happen to go friendly and use Excite and use all of his powers. Like, Kwame and his allies all get excited each turn means our speech will be more powerful, but am I going to be using speech? I haven't really resolved that yet. I kind of want to stick aggressive for a little bit of time. That said, Padrino is already kind of... Mm. I could do this as a friendly build. Let's think about it. Lowers the target's defenses, has great attack and speech defense, but lacks armor. Has decent defenses, and you lack attack and armor. So, coming up aggress uh, against aggressive opponents, if I nuke them down, I should be fine. Cultured diplomacy is not really going to help. But I can make some significant nukes going on. Or go on, rather. And I can use Padrino's crew story to try and stack some insight gains. We do want to pick up, like, the base campfire story of two resolve. Because as soon as we have that, that's basically the campfire story of eight study, right? But this recurs. So I think this might be my build. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. Diplomat, survivalist, you've got Beguiler on the offhand, you've got Quick Thinker. The problem is we're going to need to pick up a little bit of Naturalist and a little bit of Athlete before the second island, so we're going to need at least 200 gold. And I don't even think I can get Naturalist before the second one without a Entourage. Yikes. All right. Well, let's focus on Celtic Code, because obviously science, 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 science. Let's go. <laughs> I know it's only been a couple months, but hearing the music as I click and it gives the intro uh, is actually weirdly nostalgic. As though it's something from 10 years ago, I'm suddenly going, oh, I remember that from back in my day. Uh, go through the tutorial again. Yeah, you know what? 100, 100 weekly challenge, uh, probably 150 episodes of this game for me. I should probably go through the tutorial. I might have forgotten how to play. I say that sarcastically, but I may have forgotten how to play. Ah, oh, crumbs. Got to resolve it deviously. <laughs> the worst thing I could have to do. All right, they have a weakness against Terrify. I'm pretty sure I don't have any Terrify. So I've got a Sadness and two Enrages. So at the very least, we can do all of our stuff ranged. Okay, you do that there. All right, you can't move after you attack. <laughs> oh, man. That's not a good sign. Oh, you can't move after your attack. Yeah, I'm glad to have just learned that. Right. You take that. I'm going to move down here and do this, because then if I can't kill with this... Uh, no, I can still be hit. That's not good. I guess in order to protect my resolve... Yeah, it looks like I actually would have uh, completely tanked that one. Good play, Ryan. Well done on remembering the absolute core tenets of gameplay for this. And an overgrown rock formation. Uh, yeah, we want to study. Mining out the rock for more usually just gets us one collect. I don't know if I've ever seen that do it, uh, do better than that, rather. Okay, I can't see any zero links. So, and then I can go back up. Cool. <laughs> Walking through unexplored countryside often yields small rewards. More than happy to. 
If I go here before I go down and across, then I should be able to loop. Hey, Hidden Horde. Obviously a juicy discovery. We'll keep Brazilian Blend. Because we're going to have to spend resol uh, Resolve. No, we're going to have to spend Insight over time. I kind of want to keep Dodgeball as well. We definitely take the Resolve. We open up and share stories about our pasts to gain some Resolve. But yes, you have an insight cap now, which I think I played with for a couple of rounds before I, I stopped my series on the game. Climb the dangerous cliff. Ugh, crumbs. Okay, I, I actually... It's worth checking here because I need to do... I need to do well. Okay. Now, it's Starter Island... I am looking for quartz, fossil, or crystals. So, forest cliff quartz will give me two earth. One of these is always correct. There's one that is correct, and then the other two are just like, why would you? Look at the bottom of the cliff. Uh, so, the sunstone. Look for crystals. The sunstone looks like it is the best one. I will make sure that there is no different, better option. What's mine? Choose to mine. No, 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 no. What is the other option? It's quartz fossil. Fossil, 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 fossil. Show me fossils. Seriously? Nothing? Stegosaurus skull. No, that's not that one. Forest cliff. Ah, the Yamanite fossil. No, it's, it's definitely correct to go for crystals. Hey, we got the sunstone. Cool. Uh, three to five research from discovery. I mean, I am going to be trying to stack discovery. All scouts gain 10 extra speech. It's actually freaking insane, though. Padrino will be so much better. And I'm trying to do this friendly. Come on. Three to five from a discovery is so small that I think taking the speech, allowing me to take on more risky battles will actually, in the end, return more uh, results. Makeshift tools. Let's do both. Hey, cuddly sheep. Good, good, good. We can be friendly as hell. Okay. Let's get all up in their business. Now, if I go here, Padrino should be able to pretty much bunny hop me. Unfortunately, we don't have any AoE yet. Padrino's party time is obviously going to be our AoE. We don't have Impress, so we don't have a range 2 friendly. I don't think Confident is a range 2 friendly, or if it is, I forgot. Okay, Kwame. I kind of want to pick up a level of Quick Thinker. Yeah, because I'm not going for status, so I'm not going to go to too many areas that require super depth in Diplomat. I'm actually just going to need you to diversify. But Survivalist, I need to go pretty much down, like, straight down the line of. It'd be nice if I could offset and get a little bit of Beguila, but Beguila typically gives you status as a reward. And Engineering, definitely. Beautiful. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, none of these are zero travels, so I guess I just do as I do. Music coming from a meadow. Oh no, the hunger pains. Our voice and strength is fading. Wow! Okay, hunger pains just got a lot worse. Oh man. Elusive Golden Bird. Uh, the unpredictable is never a thing you were going to pick up, so you can get Kwame to get it. Nice. Okay. I would have preferred Naturalist Biology, which you can get in this area as well, but you know. I'm not going to, like, hyper min-max to the point of restarting the run to get that. I think it's Biology that you get in this area. I think. 
Oh, gosh, I hope I'm not wrong. Yikes! These hunger penalties got a lot worse. Student, 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 student. Oh, she's not a student. Holy... Okay, so I guess hunger penalties are now more predictable. It's voice and strength, voice uh, voice and strength on the person the first time it triggers on them, and then second, it's all of their defenses. I usually let myself starve a lot more, which I guess I yeah, whew, cannot now do. Cassandra being our final enemy here is excellent. Yep. That worked out pretty well. Kind of want to get Kwame down here. Just fending off these fools. Then. I should really get up here. Because as long as they don't insta-jib someone. Oh, thank you. Whew. As long as they don't insta-jib someone, we can finish the fight. God. <laughs> Handy fumble right there. Hooded figure appears on the screen. I want to make amazing contributions to science. Give me that sea sapphire. Yeah! Plus one study at the end of each expedition for one, uh, each level of engineer on your crew. That's level two. I'm going to be stacking that though, so yeah. All right. All righty then. Oh, crumbs. I've actually taken this to 20 minutes. Usually I do the first... Two treasures? Uh, usually I do the first two missions in the first episode of any run. But I spend a lot of time explaining what the weekly challenges are. So I think I'm just going to clean up here at the end. We know the drill, Pinkerton. All right. Observations is our tree then natural sciences maybe a little bit of engineering as well so we only have one engineer and no archaeology and no natural i definitely want science assistance but i probably do i want to pick that up yet when spending inside in berlin i definitely want those but do i want them right now is the question i definitely want improved storage first and probably scientist senses. Scientist senses I would spend on... Probably technique challenges, because I have both rogue and engineer. I can teach someone a naturalist perk right now. I could give that to Philippe. I could give him a naturalist perk. Oh. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to have to broaden because I otherwise I'm not going to get naturalist in this build. And I am going to need a little at least. I think... I think biology is the one that I want to give, but it might be geology. Crumbs. Um, let's have you learn biology. Because I know at the very least, Caribbean and Emerged Island should have unique biology challenges. I don't really care about finishing this tree, but this tree is actually really good. If I pick up science assistance, and I do want to pick up science assistance right now so I can get the student, then I get two more insight at which point I should get German laboratories so that I can get a bunch more study when I'm using that insight. And I should just get scientist senses. Hmm. Okay, Berlin. Let's have a look at students. We could just pick up one. There's probably no entourage we could pick up at this point. Yeah. We're definitely going student. Just making a triple check on that. 
Now, Monkey Wrench, you don't actually have advanced tools in your future. I might give you the Monkey Wrench just because it's also going to increase the amount of study tokens we get at the end of each mission. But at the same rate, I also really want to pick up a level of athlete here. Do I have to make a choice? I don't think I do. Upgrade. Yeah. You take the that and you take the that. Then it's just down to spending the rest of my insight. And you know what? I'm going to do it. And it should be technique challenges, right? Nature is going to be scientist, naturalist, athlete. I have one level of athlete in this build. I'm going to run into a lot of nature challenges in the two areas I'm going to go to. I guess I should take it then, right? Because it doesn't matter if I succeed the nature challenge. It just matters I go to it. And I'm going to be going to them because I'm going to be looking for survivalist challenges. There's just too few technique challenges to actually benefit from that enough. Sure, but that's not important to me. So the rest of this I should just be saving for piling down the natural sciences tree. At which point I might actually end up going for the origin of species too. Like, it might be worth my time to actually finish out this tree as well. <laughs> Here I was thinking I wasn't going to be finishing trees. Um, I already am above my inside cap, so I'm going to have to spend two of these. Although, I'm not going to follow that up by doing anything near any of that. If I do finish the nature sciences trees, uh, nature sciences, then I'll get two food from food supplies. Two supplies from food sciences, sorry. Because I'll have two trees finished. Okay. Okay, this is this is this is shaping up in the way that I kind of wanted it to. So the general roadmap, we're going to be going to the Caribbean island next as our third mission. Oh, I really don't want to go to the Andes just because that's typically better done aggressive or devious and we're very friendly. But maybe if I can tone towards aggression, otherwise where do I go for the third? Oh, uh, ho-hum. I have no clue. Definitely not going to Egypt. <laughs> oh, boy. Haha, <laughs> that sounds like a problem for future Ryan. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. Your name has been Jemima. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time as we continue the 100th weekly challenge for Renowned Explorers International Society. See you then.